Well, hello and welcome to my pinter video. This vlog is all going to be about this baby here and the brand new. Pinter is a home brewing company and kit that's been around now for 18 months. This was the original. This baby is the Mark II. The Mark II is a lot more expensive than this or this. It's a bit heavier, although it's meant to be better quality, and I believe it will be when I unbox them. So let's get ahead with this and show you all about what Pinter is all about. This one unusual for my um, my vlog, purely because I don't normally vlog about anything that's not electric. This is totally manual, no power needed. Just a bit of water and a brewing kit. Let it stand and do its thing. Okay, I'm in the kitchen for this one. Hello. Got two angles going on here so I can quickly pick it up and show you what the deal is. I'm gonna move these down now. We're gonna get on to unboxing this one and then we'll unbox this one. Just to show you what the deal is, what it's all about and what Pinter actually is. If you're new to Pinter and you've not seen it before, it may well be quite entertaining to you and educational. So let's get on with the unboxing. Let's take this one down first. This is the Pinter one, okay. I'm gonna tuck that to the side for now. Very lightweight, as you can see, but I'm gonna come back to that, okay. So leave this one for now. Let me just get this out of the way. Let's take this one off first and we'll unbox this. This is a Pinter one. Brand new, just got it. But anyway, I'm gonna put this one down. This is the heavier one. And this is the one that is a lot more expensive and this is their brand new edition. So let me just put this one down a moment. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Let's unbox the baby. All right, now, I did pull this out last night and go, oh, and I had a peek. Uh, just to see if it was damaged in transit as you do, because that's the last thing you want, isn't it? There's a lot of that going on. These have been delivered by a company called DPD, which I found okay. The guy was really nice when he came to the door and he didn't throw it over my gate like some do. So, well happy about that. So, let's have a look. Let me get it out of here because the way they wrap these things is quite ingenious, although some say it might be a waste of um, a cardboard. So, let me just i have to do this and pop it upside down to unbox this, like so. Let's get this out of the way, folks. Pinter One comes with a one-year warranty, okay? Um, if, you, if you do look at these people and look at the reviews, some of their customer services have been wrapped. Only because people have been waiting for the Pinter Two to come out and the prepaid for them. And it has been a bit of a wait. I didn't mind, I didn't mind waiting. I, I, I made that quite clear, I've not moaned about it, and uh, it's, it's here now. It's been about, what, six weeks? Bang. As it says on the, on the top there, revolutionary taste. There you go, revolutionary method, revolutionary method. I'll get it out in a minute. I'm not at a pint, so don't blame the beer. Here we go, this is their clever way of packaging. Basically, over like that. Now let me just grab the camera bring it over to show you what this package is all about. There you go, <sighs> bit of mess. Hey, look at that. Welcome to a new world of fresh beer. Whoa, now this is the black. In here is the, what they call the, the brewing dock, which sits this side once you've done a brew. So yeah, there you go, it's very, very nice. A lot of hoppy things going on there. But some folk are saying that it's a waste of cardboard and the way they've, they've done it, but I think it was quite effective. Each brew you get about 10 pints. I always overfill it, and twice I've made a big mistake by overfilling it, and I get a lot of when I take the brewing dock off and it comes out the back here, and it shouldn't be doing that. That's because I'm trying to push it to 11 pints, 11 and a half pints. That's me being pinkish, no more than that. So let's get it out of here. Very lightweight, that's what you call the Pinter, and on there it's got Pinter, you can see that in the insignia, hope you can, and then it's got a handle on the back. So, let's get this packaging out of the way. Okay, you'll find on the back of these things, um, here, there is a turning 
switch, well I shouldn't say switch, it's more of a valve. And that valve, as you can see there, okay, needs to be in the carbonated position when you do a brew. What it does, basically, is as it's brewing and carbonating, um, there's a little hole here which releases any pressure. It's, you know, real decent pressure. That's where it gets uh, like a one-way valve as it's brewing. Now, all you people who've never home brewed before, I'd like to know why. I used to do it the old-fashioned way, but now this is out. Well, completely different, completely different. This handle does just come off like so. So you can just push it on, push it off. And then this here is just a cover. Because inside there is the turnable, like this, will come off. All right, that is the lid, that is the top, which has to be in a perfect line with these lugs when you come to do your dock. Anyway, all it is inside, look, you can see it on the, the GoPro. Um, or it might be better there. All right, just plastic inside. Well, it does all the magic, does all the brewing. And the quickest you can do one's about four day brewing and two stroke three day conditioning in your fridge. Now there's quite a few brews you can pick from, but there's 10, 12 different brews you can choose. Uh, and I've not had a bad one yet. I brewed, what, 10, 11 times with this now. And that 10, 11 times has gave me I would say 10 good brews. I had one where I screwed up. It was my fault, I rushed it, I didn't do it proper. What a fool I am. But anyway, that's the Pinto one. So I hope that brings that up. I'm gonna get these out of the way now, and I'm gonna bring up the new Pinto 2 and unbox it. Let's unbox this Pinto 2. Some quite subtle differences on this. Um, they've, they've actually redesigned it. I, I would still be very happy just to use a Pinto 1, the original, uh, with no issues. This is not cheap in comparison, I think. By the time you've got a couple of brews chucked in with this and you buy it as a kit, you know, it's 179. But you know, if you're gonna order one, you may as well order a couple of brews. Anyway, let's get into this. Whee! Okay. Put that down out of the way. That many cardboard boxes now in the kitchen, you know what to do with them. Paint the door. So what you gotta do here, lift that out there. Lift that out there. You're going to have a, a similar uh, reaction to all the cardboard. Yeah, and let me just turn this around and show you. Okay, painter. All right, and you can see that on that camera there. Let me just uh, let me just bring it down a tiny bit so you can see what I'm doing here, folks. Okay, right. So that's just fell down. You see that. That opens up. <laughs> it's a massive piece of cardboard. All right, so I'm gonna leave that up there for a minute and come round here. Um, take this off. Just like I say, I've not been in this before, so one, remove all the packaging. So I'm going to, so bear with me here, folks, as I get round this. There you go. Oh, there you go. Nice red one. Ah, yeah. Put that out there. Now let's have a look. Oh yeah. Oh wee. Okay, hit jackpot with this one, folks. Didn't realise it came with these, but hey ho. You just um, leave that there a moment. Uh, let me show you what it's come with. Pull that up there. That, this here is the brewing dock, all right? We'll go over that in a moment. Let me just put that down. One brewing dock, folks. I've been spoiled, because in here, I have got two, look at them babies, two of the glasses. Now, they're not pint glasses, but they're free glasses, so I can't knock it. Got the pint trend signal on, two of those. More like a very large wine glass, and on the back of that, it, I believe it says fresh. Let me get him one, I might as well. Pull one open here, folks. That box can go. So, yes, I'll bang that in the dishwasher. Another one of those as well. Like I say, there's the actual unit. And in here, I think with this one, I'm glad I've got this because I can show you. That is a brewing kit. It comes with the, with the thing. We'll come back to that in a moment. There's the other glass, which I'll get out of the way now. That's 
the other glass. This is the way it looks here and packed for close-ups for you. You do get this pint of fresh notes volume two. Now you can sign up to their beer club, which is a set fee. Don't quote me, 20 quid, 15 quid a month. And with that, you will get um, slightly, you know, any new brews that come out, you're the first to know. And also you do get a little discount. So pretty good to know. Packaging's getting on my nerves now. And yes, I love this, great, super duper, well done Pinter. But again, is it all worth it? There's the, uh, the Pinter app. Download it if you get one. Right. I wish I'd have done this one at a time. It's because I've got three pints in this kitchen. I've got cardboard over, all over the place. So let me just take this out of the way. And we'll have a better look at this Pinter 2. It is definitely heavier straight away. I can assure you of that. Definitely heavier. So, nothing else in there. So I'm quite happy to just blow that on the ground. Boom. Here we are. Ta-da! But if you're just getting in this, I don't expect you to go out and buy this pint or two. It's only just come on the market. There was a delay um, to get them, but I believe that delay, excuse me, I believe that delay is now gone. So let's just get this undone. Boom, boom, boom. Now, if you're into this heavily and you like your brew and you want to do this on a real serious note, just buy two pints of ones. If you buy one, you get a heavy discount on a second. So you just buy the unit. All right, that's all you need. I think you might have to join the, the members club on that one as well to get that discount. So you'll have to check on their website. That's pint. Right, let's get this out of here. Well, I must admit, they do pack them well. Maybe, maybe too well. Everything else in there I want or need. Okay, even more protective nonsense. But I suppose you'd moan about it if it comes marked up, so, you know, let's get it right. There you go. All right, she's out, she's here. Woo, she's ready to rock and roll. Jeez, that looks some <laughs> I can see straight away there is a difference on this handle, on this pint of two. It's heavier. It's definitely aluminium, uh, rather than the first pint of one was all plastic. But this is what you're paying for, you know, this is if you go to the pint of two and pay that extra 60, 70 quid, you know, you do expect them to be better. And let's face it, everything evolves. Everything gets better and better as time goes on, and there's no doubt about it, this is definitely better than the first one. But it's just going to do the same job, folks. You know what I'm saying? So don't rush out and buy a pint of two if you're just getting into it. So if you spend all this money and don't like the system, don't like the way it works, you don't like the brews, it's a bit more hard to sell on because it's a lot more money. Whereas a pint of one, be easier. Don't forget that deal I told you about. Get two pints if you really get into it. You've got one brewing and one, you know, being used and poured out. Okay, straight at the back here, a massive difference straight away in the way it's brewed. And that is, I don't know why I'm standing this up on this, on this end, but straight away here and here is a total different concept to pint to one. I'm gonna have to, go to have a good read about this and find out. So there's, there's a big difference straight away. And I believe this here is where you screw in the hops or these little bottles you get now with to do this one. So let's just, let's just have a quick look at the front as well. Now the front has a different handle on it. It looks the same, pint or emblem. Okay, but it's not. I know it's different because it is lockable and whatever when you're doing a certain brew. I'm not going to go into that, but that's the pint of two. Okay, it just was an unboxing today. Let's just put that to the side. I'm going to go back now to pint of one. Um, oh, before I do, hold on, I just thought of something. This brewing dock here is, it's got a big rubber seal around here. Maybe you can see that when it's focusing. Big rubber seal, which the, 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 Pinter, the Pinter one doesn't have. And also, it's, again, aluminium to match this. So, let's hope it's gonna be better. Let's get this out of the way. Put it to the side here. What do we all do while I'm on the pint of two? Put all these bits away. My God, yeah. My missus come back now seeing this kitchen. <laughs> I've got cardboard out of the plate. This is a beer called Public House. Nice brew. Again, it gives you how long it takes. It's an ABV. Once brewed, it's 4.2%. Some of their beers are five and a half, six even. So some nice strong beers. So let's open this up. This is how they normally come. There you go. That's how it comes. 
Uh, that's your fresh press, that's your IBA, that's all your liquid in there. Now they do say keep them in the fridge. Problem is keeping them in the fridge, they go very, very stiff. So if you're gonna brew, get them out of the fridge and then leave them in some warm water for a bit and it gets a bit looser and gloopier. That's that. Okay. Also that comes with it is what they call a, a, a purifier. Basically all the purifier is, is a cleanser. That will clean out the inside of your pinter. Always use it because if you've had a bad brew before, chances are you can have another, another bad brew if you don't clean it out. So that comes with that. Then of course you've got the proverbial fresh brewing yeast, which is there, which is the public house brewing yeast. Again, it's probably picking up my face rather than it is the, the bottle for it. Price wise, the cheapest I've ever paid for one's been about 13 quid. The most expensive I think is about 17 quid. So, you know, you can, stay, you can say, oh, I can get cheaper beers from the, you know, from the supermarket, but you can't because you buy something here that no one else has got. Are you with me? And, you, and you're buying it and you're doing it yourself and you're saving things for the environment because environmentally, there ain't no big truck to deliver these in masses and bottles screwed all over the place and cans left in the street. You're doing it at home. You're gonna drink it at home and you're gonna reuse everything. And all the, all the packaging on these it's all recyclable. So let's get back to my first one, my pint of one. Okay, the pint of one. Now, there's one thing that I've been against these, and it is, it's a minor thing, it's the, probably the only thing I can think of dragging this down, and that is that you need a bit of muscles in your hands sometimes, because this brewing dock, when it goes on here, you have to get it in a certain way there's two lugs on this black thing here, all right? You'll see them two lugs if I show you. Now them two lugs, once that's tightened up, have to go and line up with the two lugs on there. So the idea is, there is little plastic arrows on this. So you get it lined up to a point, you put it in this position here, you twist it on. Well, I'm not gonna do it today because I don't want to scratch my table. All right, now sometimes, <laughs> hot devils to screw. If it's at all being a pain in the ass, Come back on yourself a bit and go again. And all of a sudden it'll go. That's the only devil about these. The brewing head dock is a <clears throat> to get on here sometimes. I'm gonna bring this to an end because I've ranted a lot about Pinter. I've showed you a Pinter 2, I've showed you a Pinter 1. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you've not done before. Thumbs up for this. Look out for part two on how to do a brew. I'm a poet and don't know it. We'll see you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.